I started doing planter clinics in 1996, most growers spent more time setting their harvesting equipment than they did their planter. And they are not field ready when they come out of the factory. It all comes down to the seed environment and everything around that seed. I don't want to see you guys setting your planter hitch height in your gravel barnyard or on your shop floor. Your seed tube needs to be running very, very straight. If you pitch this seed tube downhill, you are going to float seed about a half inch up in the bottom of your V. And you're going to have some depth control issues and you're going to have some emergence issues. So you need to take these out in the actual field conditions that you have. And these are going to change as you change tillage, whether you're doing minimal tillage, conventional tillage, or no-till, that is going to change. If you are running that planter nose downhill, that's going to cause those to run too deep. If you're running a seed firmer, that pressure is going to be lightened. Your closing wheel pressure is going to be lightened as well. So how do we check this? How do we level our planter? Well, you need to do it in motion. You need to get somebody to drive that tractor forward through the field so you can tell if that planter's running level. Because if you stop in the middle of the field with the planter down, your down pressure springs will relax and it's gonna look level. And the moment you take back off again, she's gonna nose right back downhill. We want it running level or pitched high in the front if you're doing it by yourself. You can take a look at your planter marker and make sure we're running 90 degrees there. We don't want that planter marker pitched forward because that's a good indicator of where our bar is running. Those of you with the larger frame planters, the central fill planters and some of the larger folding planters, you need to make sure that that planter bar is level from side to side. So that means you may have to come in and adjust your wheels on these outer wings. So technology is a wonderful thing, but it can cause problems. And we're starting to see a lot of guys decide that we don't need our planter markers anymore. We have GPS to do that. But once we take those markers off, we don't have enough weight out on our wings out here. And we start to float those wings. So go ahead and put that weight package on for the outside of your planter that we can maintain a level planter bar. When you have your planter in the ground, I want to see 20 to 22 inches from the bottom of your 5 by 7 or 7 by 7 bar to the ground. What that does then is let your parallel arms be where they need to be, be perfectly level, and lets our downforce system on those row units and also any attachments that we have perform the way they should. Let's talk about parallel arms and the bolts and the bushings. While that planter's up in the air in your shop and you walk behind it, if you can do this to it, you need to check your bolts and your bushings that planter row unit is actually going to pitch forward if you have slop in your bolts and bushings. Another thing, when you're out shopping for used planters or that, what you need to do is come and find the center point of your row unit and measure out to a known point on your 5x7 or 7x7 bar and then measure back to a known point on your row unit someplace and make sure those row units are running very, very straight through the field. That is very important when it comes to our seed environment. 